Good evening from Wadi Musa, where we're heading to spend the night in a cave with one of the Bedouin people. So we've got Rami here taking us in his 4x4 and Alex has agreed to come. So we're just making our way into the desert now and I'll see you when we get there. <laughs> We have arrived at the cave. Yes, I'm Mahmoud. Where Just met up with Mahmoud and Alex is there. But check this place out, guys. This place looks insane. Should be a good night. So this is where we're bedding down for tonight. You got a signal, Alex? I think. I'm not sure. This place is crazy. I seem to find myself in some weird places. Thank you. See, it's actually good, it's triggered. Aye, it's nice. Yeah, not like that one up, up with the dirty water they gave us. So Alex noticed that someone gave us a dirty tea, shall yeah. we say? And I hadn't noticed it. And he let me drink it all, he never touched it. <laughs> I didn't want them to hear me dissing it. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. Right here? Yeah, that's it. And this is home for tonight. Jesus, my bag's stuck. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Looks good. Does that light work? Uh huh? I don't know. Light work? Yeah, yeah. I have it and uh, charged. Okay. Hopefully we'll have some light later and I'll be able to show you inside here. So you live in the cave? Yeah. Okay. Come on, I'll just eat here and then drink tea. Wait. Okay, sounds good. <coughs> Come on. What do you think, Alex? It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> on you go. Oh, yeah, me first. Yeah. Hello. Hello. That's smoky. <laughs> That's smoky. Thank you. Very smoky. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Oh, you can definitely <laughs> see that. Oh. <laughs> Not quite sure about the electricity situation or, or the toilet situation, but I suppose when you're in somewhere like this, you usually just dig a hole. I did back as a kid when we went camping. Check out those donkey though. He said we can pet it. So we're staying in a cave just here. And he was saying that this is his grandfather's cave, or it was his grandfather's cave. He's acting a little weird. Hmm. He's doing signals like. Okay, he's 
They have his mouth tied for a reason, though. <laughs> I want to get a video of him. You like donkeys? Do I like donkeys? Yeah. <laughs> I've not got any problems with them. Well, usually in Texas, all we have is horses. You don't see donkeys a lot. Unless you go to, like, a farm where, you know, where they have one, I guess. That makes sense. Should be an interesting night. I think he's going to light a fire and cook dinner about 7 or 8 o'clock. So this is home for tonight. Not sure if you can see here, I'll put my phone light on. Hopefully there's a little bit light later and I can show you. And the smoke in here would kill you, but I'll show you. And you said this was your grandfather's cave? Yeah. Nice. And there he is. He started beating the donkey. What? <laughs> he started beating the donkey. He started beating the donkey? <laughs> he had to get it going. <laughs> so what do you think of the cave? It's nice. It burns my eyes a little bit, but... Yeah, it's very smoky. An interesting place. It's got to be better than that place that Alex picked in a man. How does this compare to the place in a man? What, the like, the no AC one? Faulty Towers. <laughs> Much better. Thank you. Thank you. Smoke in there would kill you. That's deadly. <laughs> That's deadly. Yeah, he, he started to take the donkey and he like kicked it to get it up and then he started whipping it. It was like, it went from such a nice experience to like donkey abuse. <laughs> Got the dog. Looks like a dingo. Very peaceful place. Can't hear any cars or anything. Yeah, it's dead silent. Not sure how cold it's going to get here, but I'm sure we'll be okay. Alex is looking forward to firing up the shisha. Yeah, we'll do it after uh, in a minute, I think. So I think after here we're going to go to Wadi Rum and spend a few nights in the desert, which should be good. But I think our time in Petra's coming to an end. <laughs> yeah, I don't care for Wadi Musa too much. Amman was much better. It's not a great experience. Um, if you don't know, you should go onto Twitter and watch our Twitter live. And Alex is explaining what happened to him. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the problems. The other problem was the the overpricing on freaking soda. That's yep. just me. I can handle the abuse. You would argue over a penny, honestly. <laughs> I'm just going to show you the smoke in here. I think you can see it. It's horrific. It's horrific. It's definitely horrific. <laughs> it looks like night time. That's why they sit on the ground. Because if you stand up, you just you pass out.
can see it in the background, look. Another benefit of being short, you're tall and you're dying. Is that a short joke? So I'm just going to have some tea and I'll catch up with these later on when we're getting dinner. It's not coming, but it wants to. Hello. Hi, mate. How are you? Fine. Nice to meet you. You too. You're welcome. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice yeah, I yeah. Just ask before you make the video, it's more better for you. Okay, okay. So we're sitting here, uh, we've said some tea. He's a little bit weary of the GoPro. One of the locals came and says not to film because they get any trouble because nobody's allowed to stay overnight in the caves. But it transpires that the guy, uh, the guy that lives in this cave is actually friends with the guy who tried to get off with Alex. So <laughs> we're a little bit worried and <laughs> We're a little bit worried in case you can. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little bit worried in case you can. <laughs> We're a little bit worried in case he comes through the door. <laughs> you couldn't make this up, honestly. You could not make it up. Every time, every time the door opens. <laughs> every time the door opens. <laughs> Every time the door opens, Alex shudders. <laughs> so, hopefully it doesn't arrive and we'll update you later if we can or in the morning. I think he's a little okay. I had to go home. Door shut. I can't see shit. This is a wee bit in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Alex so thought that was his pal coming. Yeah, he's trying to speak to me. I don't know what the hell he's saying. So we're just here in the cave. The guy's just left. He doesn't want me pulling out the GoPro because he says he gets into trouble if any of these videos. Like, are negative. 
<laughs> so we've just had our dinner. And it turns out that the guy who was in this cave is friends with the guy who tried to touch up Alex. Yeah, everyone knows everyone. <laughs> so Alex is a little bit worried. But look at the cloud of smoke. It's not like a can of propane, is it? Sounds like it's fucking going on. So when the guy was telling us that he knew no, the, the guy that tried to touch up Alex, we were... It was so funny. We were trying to not laugh. How are you finding the experience? It's nice. It's a little dangerous lifestyle, but... I guess, you know, he's pretty old. He's, he survived it. I don't know how. We're just, waiting on, we're just waiting on that guy that touched up Alex to come through the door. Did you hear that? <laughs> there's just someone out there. There's, there's nobody there. Oh, now you're sure when five minutes ago you were like, I think he's here. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have to be quiet. Cal Callum's buddy uh, felt bad I didn't get to go with them. On a little tour around Petra. <laughs> <laughs> he, he felt bad about it, so he wanted to make up for it. I don't think that's really making up for it, though. That's more like a punishment. But, you know, he's like, let's go, let's go play billiards. <laughs> no. um, where do I even begin? We went down, we played billiards, it was good, he was teaching me, you know, maybe one game in, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he has to ease into it, so one game in, he's like, talking about how in Oman, the country, that they, like, men will, will like, get together and, like, marry, even though they're not gay, <laughs> I don't know what the, what that is, and he said that, like, you know, the two men will... Like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, oh, it's normal, because girls can be iffy and can be a bit hard in a relationship. So he's like, in America, they, they, they cut the meat. I thought he was talking about transgenders. No, he was talking about circumcision. It's like sizing up my penis or something. I don't, I don't know what the hell that was about. <sighs> so he... He's talking about that. He was surprised that in America, most people are circumcised. I was like, okay. And then he's talking about the six ball in billiards. He calls it the, the sex ball, I guess. Um, you know, played a couple games. He teached me. Mentioned something about teaching me how to do massages. Techniques. He has some techniques for <laughs> cracking the back or something. And you say it's okay? Huh? And you say it's okay? Yeah, I'm like, okay, maybe. Because, you know, I could... We could all go for a little bit more knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> and then he takes me out. Um, I think Callum's going to be here uh, soon. Callum's like, no, mate, I'm working. It's like, fucking hell. Okay, we'll go. So we go down the street. He's going to show me, like, a view of the city. And we're going downhill anyways. It doesn't really make sense. You want to be high up. He takes me down. There's, like, two horses and, like, an ancient ruin. <laughs> He's like... Uh, like he didn't even say anything I just followed him I guess my mistake I go behind the ancient ruin and he's like I want to I want to give you a hug because on the way down he was talking about how uh, he doesn't know if I've ever tried anything with a man before I'm like no I know I have a girlfriend um, and he thinks like oh you haven't tried it you don't know like I think I would know if I had a feeling towards another guy so he was he was easing in on it, talking about how he wanted to touch me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and then you know it's like so. Then when we're behind the ruin, the ancient ruin, he's <laughs> like, I just want to give you a hug. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to do it back at billiards, but you know, Muslim culture, you probably behead him for it think something weird about it so I was like okay I'll give you a hug because you know I'm fine I'm a friendly person I'm fine with just a hug if you try anything more you know 
I would have been ready. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was ready for some some revolting. <laughs> so then he's hugging me. I'm like trying to not be super close body to body. So I'm like hugging like that, but my foot's on like my tippy toe. So my foot starts to shake a little bit. Probably look like a like I'm terrified. <laughs> oh. then, then I'm like, uh, okay. Like he's like hug stronger, and it's like a full minute hug. And I was like, I swear to God, if this goes anywhere else, like just keep it at the hug. And then when we get back, I'm telling Callum what the fuck, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> so. We start walking back up, and he continues talking about, you know, like, like, a man, a man, like, you know, you, you, you're young, you haven't tried it. I was like, okay, I know, I haven't tried it, I don't want to. <laughs> Probably a frightening experience for me, because I'm not gay. I don't f mind if he is, but it's like, I'm not trying to get with some guy, I don't know if he has AIDS or what. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking, like... He's probably got something. These people here, their teeth are <laughs> fucked up. I'm breathing in smoke like 24-7. So, I was um, just trying to get back to the room. And he's like telling me how like I get all the local prices. It's like normally 5 JD for a full meal. He's like, no, for you 2.5. Your friend will pay 35 for the tour. You just 5. He's like, don't tell him. Don't tell him any of this. Because he'll have a problem with me. He'll think differently of me and you. Like we're some secret couple. Like, what the fuck? No, he'll think differently of you, not me. <laughs> and you said about his friend shaking your hand. Yeah, so we get to the top of the hill. And there's like stores again. There's people. I feel a little bit safer. A truck comes by with this guy with like a caterpillar on his lip. And he's like Saddam Hussein looking guy. And he's, uh, he's like, nice to meet you. He grabs my hand and he fucking grabs it so hard it, it literally pops and i was like wow that was strong and he's like oh sorry sorry <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's okay like, I like my hand was fucking hurting but yeah then we we left and it was like going back to civilization back to callum and then i get in the room and callum's just working on a video and i'm telling him I'm trying to get him to like finish talking so i don't cut him off i was like okay callum cool your video's nice can we talk? <laughs> <laughs> and, and then I'm like checking around, I'm like making sure he didn't follow up because he's friends with our fucking receptionist at the hotel. So who knows if he followed up to listen. But he wasn't there. So I was like, okay. <laughs> Shut the curtain. Like, Calum, this is what happened. Like, who is this? What, what, who the fuck are you meeting on the street and just going to their house and shit? And it turns out he's friends with the guy one. that's in this cave. He's friends with everyone. Everyone knows him. I was like, hey, Sean, he's a great guy. I don't think they know the truth. But, yeah, I'm not going to tell And that's the story. So, I'll see you in the morning. Maybe I'll see him. And it's morning time. Um, half past six, to be precise. Alex is just eating his Cheetos. How did you sleep last night? Yeah. Wasn't the worst. But Alex found a massive spider. A man eater. Mm. I'm saying you found a spider. Yeah. Huge. <laughs> Was a pretty good sleep last night. Not quite sure how we're getting out of the desert yet, but I'm sure we'll find a way. And the guy's lying over there sleeping, he slept out there all last night. Is there anybody in there? No. I wonder why he slept outside last night. He likes it. I'll see you when we get back to the car.
we are back in the car, so we're just leaving the desert now. Alex is looking forward to sleeping. I had a good sleep last night. Um, I think it was about one o'clock before we nodded off. But no, it was a good experience. So signing off here from Wadi Musa Desert, and I'll catch you on the next one. I've been flying from town to town.